Before you get to that weather forecast, can I tell our viewers about uh, a few more things? We do have some school closures uh, and delays. Those are scrolling at the bottom of your screen. So keep an eye on that. And you can also go to kgw.com slash closures for more information. Yeah, and some of those are two hour delays. We reported earlier in the show and, and we're assuming that's just because of icy conditions on roadways. It actually stayed uh, above freezing much of the night and that allowed snow to melt. And then when temperatures started to drop just a couple hours ago, all that froze. So the, we're getting some reports of certain roadways that have been very icy this morning. This is pretty from the Wells Fargo camera. We're expecting a dry, partly cloudy day. You can see a little sliver blue there looking off to the east this morning. There's that temperature. That's the problem. 32 out the airport. The same up in uh, Vancouver, 31 out in Camas, 31 down in Tigard. Happy Valley's at 31. They have some snow on the ground. It's been a little bit warmer down the Mid Valley. And we actually have a fog advisory uh, from Salem down to the south posted this morning as well. So watch out for reduced visibilities. Otherwise, the number one concern at this hour is, again, icy spots on sidewalks and roadways. We will be warming up though. 43 at noon, mid 40s for a high with light winds, partly cloudy skies coming. All of that will melt what's basically a dusting to an inch of snow on the ground away. Chris McGinnis following those uh, icy spots on roadways. Oh yeah, for sure. My drive in was certainly slick. Not sure if weather played the role or a role in this crash, but this is our most significant backup on the freeways this morning. You're looking live right now. I-205 in the Gladstone area. Southbound traffic looks like it's squeezing by on the shoulder. Has been for more than an hour. And so that's creating a pretty significant delay. We'll take you back to Highway 212 in Clackamas. Uh, traffic's backed up for about two and a half miles. That's taken drivers at least an extra 20 minutes to get through there. So just a heads up on that. Uh, a number of other crashes on the freeway have cleared this morning, but again, watch yourself. There are some slick roads on uh, well across much of the metro area this morning, guys.